Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have your energy, the emperor showing up right off the bat. So you could be dealing with another Aries or you're just in alignment. Ooh, the seven of swords. They're viewing you as the wheel of fortune. So for a lot of my Aries, this is a secret admirer. And you've got a love offer coming in that you're not going to see coming and it's going to take you by surprise. I think this is going to make you very happy. The three of cups in reverse tells me this person is looking for love. They're looking for commitment um, more so than just like having fun. So it may be something that leads to something much more serious here. I also see it's there's potentially there's third party interference, which could be gossip. Um, maybe around this person's feelings for you or your your feelings for them. Um, so let's just see how this plays out. So the emperor here tells me you're in alignment. It's potentially a divine counterpart situation or this person may be part of your destiny. All right, we see they could be a Scorpio. They're ready to transform this connection or this is going to be a transformative connection for you. And hanged man energy, Pisces energy. This is somebody who's been holding back. We see that with the Seven of Swords. They've been watching. They've been waiting. They want victory. They've been burned by rushing into things in the past. So they're looking at all the details. But, you know, Seven of Swords energy doesn't have to be lies and deceit. It certainly can just be this person has hidden feelings for you. All right. This person feels like when they're with you, they've come out of the cold. This person's looking for stability. I also feel this person has a lot to offer. So comfortable lifestyles indicated here. They might be holding back a little bit too because there's been some drama. Like it feels like you might work with this person or you know them, like, you know, maybe you know their ex or something or they're in your friend group or in your community. It just feels like there's gossip and drama here. And I feel like your person wants to avoid that. They, they, want, they don't want that. They just want you is what I'm getting. The wheel card tells me they see you as having it all. They see you as part of their destiny. Um, and yeah, this person wants, they're ready. They're ready to take a leap of faith towards you. That's too many cards. Um, they want to take a leap of faith towards you. They love all your Aries energy. They love your passion for adventure, your charisma, um, your way of communicating. Yeah, this person, you, you are this person's wish fulfillment. And they're looking to play the long game here. Like I said, I was picking up on that with the three of cups in reverse. They're not looking to play games or to, you know, date casually. All right, what you're not seeing is the page of cups. You've got a love offer coming in. This is the beginning of intimacy, something that really feels like it can stand the test of time. Moon in reverse. So they're revealing some pretty deep romantic feelings here for you. And some of you, it might be that they want to heal things with you. So maybe you have dealt with this person. But for a lot of you, this person comes off as kind of emotionally unavailable. Or, you, or this is just going to take you by surprise is what I'm getting. The Four of Cups in reverse. I'm doubling down on that. That This person's going to ask you out on a date. It feels like it's going to happen pretty soon. Um, they've been strategizing. It feels like this is what you've been waiting for. And a lot of you, you may end up marrying this person, Aries. I feel like we've been getting a lot of messages like this for you guys. Um, and with the Hierophant card, this, this is something that certainly can go the distance. So you've got a really big decision to make here. Some of you, you might be eliminating other options. Um, so what I'm going to do, let's see if there's anything else we need to know. Is there anything else we need to know about this person or this situation? Is there anything else my Aries need to know about this person or about this situation? All right, so they might be feeling a little bit drained. And again, for a lot of you, if there was like gossip or rivals, like they really don't like this. This person doesn't want, they don't want any games. They don't want, they don't want drama. A lot of you, you might work with this person and high maintenance, but I, I kind of bet more than high maintenance, I kind of get this person has a lot to offer. They've worked hard for their success. They like nice things. Um, 
So I do feel like there's a real comfortable lifestyle indicated with this person. Again, they might get a lot of attention because of that. I feel like this person always looks good, looks like they're going somewhere. Um, and again, probably has nice things, nice house, nice car, that type of deal. All right. And yeah, we see golden mirror. So some of my Aries, this might take you by surprise because, you know, some, there might be gossip around this situation that this person is very selfish or they're very self-absorbed because they're coming up as high maintenance. I don't think that's actually true. I think this person has probably rejected people around you. And that's why there's this, a little bit of a reputation, but of course do not, you know, don't, don't ignore any red flags, obviously, but yeah, this person may be healing from heartache, or maybe you are Aries, you're healing from heartache, um, but you're making progress here. Some of you, this person too, like I said, maybe you know this person's ex or something like that. Um, and I feel somebody here has probably spread rumors about them. And again, don't ignore any red flags here. This is a connection that can evolve to the next phase. But for a lot of you, I'm not getting that, you know, that, that, that this person is, you know, self-absorbed or, a, you know, or a narcissist or anything. I, I feel like there might be, I'm just going to double down on the message I'm getting here that they may have rejected others or they're very popular at work. Um, and a lot of you, you might just think, oh, they've got an ego or, you know, they're, or they're, you know, they're full of themselves. And I, I don't think that's the case. I think this person is going to more than pleasantly surprise you. Okay, so let's see. Clear messages and guidance. All right, so you're, this person has real feelings for you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Allow it to unfold naturally. And spirit saying, yes, Aries, this is your soulmate. And for a lot of you, it's someone brand new. All right, but again, beware of gossip here. So... I'm going to leave it there. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.